Yeah, all right. June twelfth, I got a day off, and uh, we're touring the garden. I got my sage right there, doing well. Got the daisies, bunch of wildflowers in here, different things. Fresh yellow rose. Just little plants here and there. Here's my best beehive. Tons and tons of bees coming in and out. And uh, we got different cone flowers, Queen Anne's lace. Hoping to find some uh, black swallowtail butterflies on some of these beautiful plants. So all sorts of coloring going on here. More yellow. The bee bomb is getting ready to explode. A little top stick, four or five feet tall, actually. Butterfly bush getting all psyched up, ready to go. There it is. Get your finger off the hole there so you can talk it to the mic and be all right. Anywho, take a drift across. Got some cukes growing in this area. <coughs> They're starting to come out. Got to get out and pull a few weeds. The uh, pole beans. We're going to grow these alongside the fence here. And uh, they'll grow up. All right. Tiger lilies. Getting ready to go. They're ready. A couple of them. This will be the first blossom right there. This one's going to break loose come tomorrow. Once that comes, boy, they'll all go. Here's my cat bird. They come here every year. Tom and I have an understanding together. We uh, don't infringe upon each other's rights. Though he does eat a lot of raspberries. But, uh, you know, I got my friends. We got um, some giant sunflowers growing in the uh, mulch buckets this year because those are pretty much full. And this would be the year to convert them completely to soil. So we figured we'd give it a shot and see if we can grow some real giants. And so far we're doing all right. Last year's potatoes. We got uh, all sorts of squash growing on in here. And that's a black oil sunflower. and. This is one of my best hollyhock plants for the year coming up. You never know what you're going to get with the hollyhocks and the uh, common malign. But uh, here's all the russets, red potatoes. So far the potato crop is doing great. This is the uh, Stevens uh, Sunflower, giant sunflower, growing well. We expect this one to be about 12 feet tall, probably, when it's all said and done. Sort of the hidden corner. Got another beehive here, 
just starting to uh, get herself established and take off. Seem to get a lot of bees coming and going now, which is a good thing. A couple weeks will change that. This is all bee balm and milkweed. Again, uh, some good spots for the uh, bees to feed. The raspberry patch has uh, bloomed some here and there, and uh, there's some big weeds in there, but I'll get to them. Potatoes, zucchinis, summer squash, purple peppers, and green bell peppers, and main potatoes, and I got one Russian that I thought was rotten in the ground, and I threw it in the bucket here, and it's growing, so we'll see what that gets us in the fall. Probably not much, but if we get anything, it's a bonus. Traveling through the uh, short path here. I got, obviously have some issues with uh, some critters here, but got some broccoli heads farming. Well, potatoes, lots of potatoes this year. The onions, doing great. The uh, potatoes have actually gone to seed. And inside these little things is actually potato seed. Not seed potato, but potato seed that you can grow from your plants. And these are all the blues and the uh, Russian bananas. The onions are really, really starting to fatten out. Um, can't imagine what they're going to be like. It's still only middle of June. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Carrots. Got some nice carrots going. Here's my timepiece. I know if it's daytime or nighttime. few corn plants in here. It's been kind of a weird year for corn, but I got them at different levels and I have a, uh, a whole new fresh batch of uh, sugar and butter ones or whatever they call them and coming up and uh, we'll see what we get. More shoots of the uh, onions. I want to see them grow as big as softballs here, these big huge giant ones. Look at the size of them. You know? I mean, I'm uh, four feet high. That's a four foot tall onion stalk. I'll have more onions growing in the ground next year than I know what to do with. Here come the daisies. This place will be wild with daisies in a couple more days. Is my uh, common malign. I took the other one out because uh, I was infringing upon the blueberries. And this is my best plant. And there's going to be some nice berries formed. And I'm sorry, birds. The humans are going to win out this year. The winter was relatively mild, so everything seems to have grown better. including these damn Jerusalem artichokes. Look how tall they are. Yeah. We got the squash out over here. Butternut squash. Get this whole area, let them grow where they want. We'll have, uh, you know, if we get 50 butternut squash, that'll be good. Get some watermelons over there, but uh, for whatever reason, they don't seem to be taking off as well. I'm going to have to adjust the ground 
something in the ground, I'm sure. But uh, all the blueberries are covered this year, so it's uh, birds are going to take a beating. Got the mirrors here. Come around the far side. Again, these are, I'm going to back it up so you can see it. These are Jerusalem artichokes, and there will be yellow flowers on top of them. And last year there was 12 plants. I can't begin to tell you how many there are right now. And if I don't get control of them, in one year this is how far they'll go under the ground. Right there. There's a couple of them underneath the... Uh, netting there, and those will be just cut, culled right out, along with a bunch of milkweeds, but we'll get our caterpillars this year again. Finally had a good day off, we could get out and get around. The weeds are after me, but I don't care. I'll get them.